Dangerous. In fact, the Coast Guard and Oregon State Police searching for a man who was swept into the ocean just north of Depot Bay. It happened about 1130 this morning, so he's been missing now for several hours. Witnesses say the 44-year-old man went over the seawall and was then swept off the rocks. And in Lincoln City, two hotels were damaged by huge waves. The Sea Gypsy and the San Castle Motel were damaged. You can see logs were thrown through windows and other debris piling up along the patio. North Lincoln Fire and Rescue estimates damages from today's storm will be well over a million dollars. Also today, a wave hit Kylo's Seafood and Grill. It cut a gas line to the building. Nobody was hurt, but there is significant damage to that building. Also in Lincoln City, four people were hit by a wave filled with debris at Road's End. Paramedics took one woman to the hospital because she was hit by a log and injured her leg. Due to the conditions, Oregon State Parks closed the D River Wayside and Road's End Beach Access. We have team coverage tonight, and we want to begin with our Eileen Park live tonight in Pacific City with some incredible pictures for us. Eileen? Jeff, the violent and powerful waves today were quite a sight to see. Many people I spoke with say they've never seen anything quite like it. I'd like to see the wave go around that, around that rock again. Richard Horner has lived in Oregon for 52 years and occasionally comes out to the coast to get a few shots. I'm down here to the beach because I heard the swells are going to be 30 footers and I didn't want to miss it. He doesn't remember the last time he's seen Haystack Rock here at Cape Kiwanda getting pummeled like this with waves as tall as these. Oh, I love it. I, I just, I, I get excited seeing waves. I, I shoot waterfalls all the time, so uh, coming down here, this the action is, I'll shoot 300 shots. Drone video captured by Alex Huppenthal shows just how aggressive and violent the coast was today. And today it's completely different. It's the biggest surf I've ever seen. The largest surf pushing far up the beach prompted Oregon State Parks to close beach access at several locations on the coast, including Cape Kiwanda. I grew up on the east coast by the Atlantic Ocean. Never saw any waves quite as big and violent as these. Now, flooding is still a concern. In fact, Pacific City State Airport did see a little bit of flooding. So keep in mind, the coastal flood warning will be in effect until midnight. Live from Cape Kiwanda, I'm Maline Park. Jeff and Jennifer, back to you. Thanks, Eileen. Let's go to Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stanton.